Number one pick is Marcus Russell. Talk to Sports Illustrated about his failure with the Raiders, possibility of a second chance in the NFL, and here's some of what he had to say about his former coach, Tom Cable, to SI. Quote, I stuck my neck out for him. Didn't complain when he benched me as a starter. Didn't complain when he called the same plays five damn times. Didn't badmouth him to other coaches. When the media asks me, I say, he's a good coach, a good guy. Then I hear he says I was the worst thing that ever happened to the Raiders. If it weren't for me, we'd be in the playoffs. It just got to where the game wasn't fun for me. Things weren't going right, and it felt sometimes like everything fell back on me. I take some responsibility, but I was one guy. I may have missed a throw, but I didn't give up 42 points. I didn't miss a block. Along the ideas of whether or not he deserves a second chance in the NFL, does he? No. And I never say that. I'm I've never heard I, you say that. I am a person that believes in second chances. I think America is the land of second chances. Except for when it comes to this dude, Mr. Jabba the Hutt, you fat, slovenly, no good, lazy. Oh, come on. Well, I'm a that's a little strong. And listen, that's what he was with the Oakland Raiders. Darren Woodson was just sitting up here. He played for the Raiders. Ask him. Ask any member of the Oakland Raiders who played alongside this dude. This dude should be arrested for thief for, for being a thief he stole money from the oakland raiders for years i'm talking 40 million dollars the dude had about seven stars did absolutely positively nothing he cashed in the money evidently used it on buying a bunch of donuts okay never gave two cents about the oakland raiders didn't care whether they won didn't care whether they lost constantly changed his expression the only time we saw him give a speck of effort was when he was literally caught on camera blowing his nose that's about it this dude is the epitome of a disgrace. He, had, he never cared, and now we're supposed to believe you cared all of a sudden? Then he comes up with some cockamamie excuse about, oh, sleep apnea. Oh, I had sleep apnea. You know what I did? I had it operated on. Deviated nasal septum. That's the name of the surgery, okay? He could have got that done. He could have used one of them, them, them cat pack machines, whatever it is. He yeah, I'm sorry, he could have done, done all that. He could have came up with a myriad of solutions, but he didn't care because he was getting paid. He sold his teammates out. He sold the organization out the late Al Davis he sold him out or what have you and by the way maybe I'm a bit harsh and maybe I'll change my mind tomorrow but considering this is the initial reaction since I just heard of the garbage this job of the hut individual spewed oh no he does not deserve it not even a little bit of it until he comes out and gives a public apology for robbing the organization of the money for disgracing NFL quarterbacks and more importantly for not acknowledging that he is solely responsible for the ineptitude that he exhibited over those years in Oakland, period.